Almost finally, Jason plays again with another edition of Jason's Plays is right here. First of all, I'd like to answer one of your guys' questions. No, this is not a wig. I just need a fucking haircut pretty badly. Alright, so let's get down to business, man. Today, I almost threw up, man, when I read this post called MHL versus MAHL, man. Fucking all these whining little bitches on there, man. Call me what you want for this, but, man, if you want to be MHL, you don't bitch like that, man. If you do, you go down to the AHL. Talent is only half of it. Now, there's two sides to the story. There's the AHL players who whine like little bitches, expect to be noticed by just playing. Well, the story is, no. You got to throw up these MHL captains' asses, you gotta get noticed, and if you're not noticed, you get their attention, man. You message them, you try to get as many games as you can with them, you try the other methods by being proactive in the league. For me, example, I will say this, man. <sighs> I'm gonna say this, man, because I'm still sick and tired of this subject. Sorry about that, man. I'm just sick and tired of all these bitches whining about that, man. It's emo to the max. What you gotta do is try to be proactive. An example, good example, is myself, man. No one knew who the fuck I was coming in my first season here. You know, I, you know, played great. Sure, that's only half the battle, man. But now I got my name out there, man. I started chirping. I started doing scouting. I started talking to anybody that's anybody in this league, man. And look at me now. Everybody, I repeat, everybody knows who I am, man. I repeat, everybody. Now, this problem is not just the AHL players as well. These MHL players think they're fucking better. The captains, I'm talking majorly, man. They think they're fucking better, man. They don't fucking do their job in the first place. They draft their buddies, they draft from prior experience, man. Fucking scout. You'll be surprised about all the fucking talent in this league, man. All the fucking talent, man. You're missing guys like Scotty, man. You're passing them up for like, who? Oh, Fucking cloudy days? Like, this guy seems like USS Schneider? He doesn't deserve to be up there. Man, you gotta bring people up like, um, you know, Far Warrior, why is he in the NHL, man? This guy's got 88 points this season. And the bottom line is, he didn't get noticed, man. You have to pull up these MHL captains' asses, man. These MHL captains, you have to do your fucking job. Scout properly. You want a championship team? You do the scouting, man. If you don't, you can end up like Meet the Assassin. You can end up like, um, like 37 in a row, man. A failed captain, man. If you don't do your job properly and do scouting, you're gonna miss the bottom line. The bottom line is, some NHL players deserve to be up there. Now, another, another excuse I read more so than any is, there's clicks. Sure, there's clicks. But that doesn't account for the whole NHL, man. The whole problem is, you just sit there, you whine, you look like little bitches. And you wonder why you're not getting picked, man. It's like being picked class in gym class. You know, when you're like, in grade three or something, man. You're like, you got two captains there. The person that raises their hand goes, oh, 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 gets picked before the... Uh, but I didn't get it sick. You know what's bottom line, man? Kids figure this out. Why can't you? You know, and it, it surprises me, man. You got all these AHL players complaining. But what about the people that don't get drafted, man? What happened to those players that don't get to play every series? Who don't get to play every week? What about that, man? Before you start bitching, why don't you think about those players, man? Because they deserve it just as much as you do. And if you're gonna cry your ass, I think you deserve to be on that list. Not them. Now, I just recommend, next season, if you wanna play MHL, crawl up these MHL captains' asses. And MEC, when you're picking the MHL captains, make sure you tell them to draft the ball. Make sure you tell them to scout. Because if they don't, then it's gonna be another failed season. 
Jason Blaze, signing out. Back to you, Jim.